Okay, diabetes is a simple mineral deficiency disease. It's not genetic in any way, shape, or form. We've known that for 70 years. It's a simple nutritional deficiency disease. But again, doctors are not obligated to cure you when there's a cure available. They're a protected monopoly. They can do what they want. And as long as you agree to it, everybody's happy. Why is there going to be a diabetes epidemic? 80 million baby boomers come along. Exercise, sweat out your nutrients, drink plenty of water. Don't take vitamins and minerals, you can overdose. I must hear that a thousand times a day if I hear it once. I don't know who to strangle first, the patient or the doctor. And here's why you'll be burying your children. Wall Street Journal, April of this year. No easy cure for diabetic children. Now, we're not talking about type 1. This is type 2. It used to be called adult onset type 2 diabetes because it only occurred in people over the age of, of 50. Well, that was a long time ago. In 1963, people under the age of five never got type 2 diabetes, but look, following the doctors and the government's instructions, eat whole grains, don't eat fat, eat, you know, plenty of exercise, don't supplement. Look what happened. If, if, if the doctors were right and the government was right, the chart should look like that again. Following their instructions, doing what they say, this is what you're getting. And so the kids are dying younger and younger and younger just from type 2 diabetes when nobody should get it. It's a simple mineral deficiency. High blood sugar is not the disease. High blood sugar is, is just a symptom of the disease. Just like elevated blood cholesterol is a symptom of, of type 2 diabetes, it has nothing to do with the cause of the disease, high blood sugar. Do not get statin drugs because they increase your risk of diabetes, type 2 diabetes, by 50%. And this came out, what, in uh, 2012, right? Just like the other one I showed you. I don't get all the easy ones. When I get people with diabetes, I usually get them with complications. Here's some uh, gangrene of the foot. I see gangrene of the legs all the way up to the groin. And a, a good endocrinologist, he loves this. I mean, the toes are crystallizing. There's not much healthy flesh left. So they'll cut the foot off uh, right there at the arch. If it goes up the leg, they'll cut the leg off in the middle of the thigh or up at the groin. Well, with our program, it usually takes 2 to 14 days to wean them off their medication. Now they're an ex-diabetic in 2 to 14 days. It happens like all the time. The longest it ever takes is 30, 60 days, but I'd say 80% of them are 2 to 14 days. If they do exactly as I say, they'll wean off their medication because we're giving them the mineral that's missing. But what about the complications? What about blindness? What about heart disease? What, what about gangrene? Well, it just all goes away, usually 30 to 60 days. And we do have to have one thing for gangrene. It's called the ultimate daily tablet, just like for vascular dementia. In coronary artery disease, for this one, I would also add, in addition to the healthy blood sugar pack, which is the healthy starter pack, and the sweeties, appropriate for body weight, if they have complications of the heart, or eyes, or brain, or complications of the gangrene, I, I give them the ultimate daily to get the circulation going. Here's another one that shows they don't know anything. Diabetes cases may double by 2050, and perhaps even triple. Now, what does that tell you about their level of knowledge when it comes to the cause of these? They don't know nothing. All they're doing is tracking numbers and treating the same way over and over and over. I remember Albert Einstein. He, he, he was a Nobel Prize winner, one of my favorites. And he said, many global things are unimpeachable. My favorite is insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. He's the one that came up with that. What, what a beautiful global statement, right? And this just shows how stupid and insane they are. So again, the healthy blood sugar pack, and if they have complications, whatever is necessary to deal with the complications. Usually within 2 to 14 days, they're an ex-diabetic.